ladies and gentlemen, this is Robert Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. We're now on episode three. So, in the last episode, the peaceful solitude of Deluxeville Township was interrupted so rudely by a goblin. He is dead. <laughs> Pretty sure he's dead. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> he is dead. I don't know why he was standing like that. I, I, I've been having trouble actually getting rid of the body, but we're not going to worry about the body right now because it's actually the least of my worries. Because rumors have informed me, in the form of comments, by the way. <laughs> That it's going to start getting heated. There, there lurks in these woods hordes of of heathens that have nothing, nothing on their mind other than the, the destruction of our little, our little quaint little farmstead. So we should start to consider building walls as soon as possible. So, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we're gonna keep it simple. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to build a hall mott and bailey, but I think we need to learn the game system before we start doing anything too fancy. Although I can't help myself sometimes. I do try to build some things fancy. So first things first, we need to get the rest of our lumber mill built so let's get the floors built actually might as well just get everybody moving and uh let's just see how is everybody doing anyway so we've got who is this oh gnarly the tool maker he's making tools it's exactly what gnarly the tool maker should be doing is making tools and we should <laughs> I, i'm gonna put some floors down for this uh for the lumber mill i think we're gonna make the blacksmith a little bit bigger so let's dig that out a little bit more now, yeah, I was having trouble getting rid of that goblin corpse. Now, I hope that doesn't become a problem later. Like, like in thing in games like Dwarf Fortress, they would uh, a corpses would produce uh, miasma, <laughs> and miasma was like toxin. Like it was toxic. It was like you know dead bodies. Dead bodies would start to produce you know flies and disease and stuff like that. And we don't want our people you know to be surrounded by disease and flies and all stuff like that. Um. Oh, actually, let's. See, I tried to I tried to do a bunch of things. I tried to remove the ground. I couldn't get I can't get them to remove the ground right underneath the goblin, and I can't get them to pick up like actually access that terrain. So we have a bug. It's it's a pretty significant bug because I don't know what's going to happen to this corpse over time. Maybe it'll attract animals. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Either way, um it'll be interesting to see what happens here as time goes on. Uh, it, you know, I expected some bugs. I expected some bugs. Not to excuse it, because there is no excuse for bugs. Uh, although, this is... Technically, the game is an early access, um, but I can't I can't give it a free pass for that because we're not seeing too much of a developer. But either way, it doesn't matter. I'm still enjoying the experience. I'm hoping that that doesn't destroy my experience. That's all. That's all. And I think we're gonna... We're gonna dig all of this out. Right out to here. And we're gonna dig this out right out to here. And I know this is this is huge. This is this is a lot of digging. I understand that, but um, this is all part of my master plan. And I, I think the, I think the dirt they should be able to dig through that dirt pretty quickly. I'm hoping our, our masonry stockpile is large enough to be able to handle this. I don't think we need too much on this side. I'm trying to get all of the ground. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't need to dig all this out. Th that would be ridiculous. Let's let's not do that. That seems like. An enormous amount of work for no reason whatsoever. Uh, we just need... It doesn't matter if the walls... I, I want it all in level terrain. I But I have to get... I have to get over myself. <laughs> I think it's really important that I get over myself. Because sometimes ev not everything is going to be perfect. And I have to accept that. And if we if we are... If we intend to protect our village, we're going to have to get at it like now. So this part needs to be leveled though. We're going to need that for farming. And of course... Uh, the walls to there as well so we're gonna do that and uh yes that should be good so yeah i'm just gonna build a basic wall around the uh around the edge of town here so i'm gonna do a little bit bigger like so um and the sooner the better because and i would like to put a moat there of course i would love to put a moat there it's just de it just depends on you know how much <laughs> if we have the time to do such a thing. So the wall, the wall, I guess we'll do the granary a little bit closer than I'd planned. Like maybe I'll do it like right about here. And then we're going to do the wall going around like so. It is going to have to go up a level. That's fine. That's fine. It'll come around over here and then back down through here. I want to give ourselves enough room to grow, but this may not be our final wall. I mean, if we are successful here, then I mean, who knows? Okay. So what, what's happening guys? What's happening? Why is everybody stopped? Oh, a skeleton has been spotted by Odd the Forager. A skeleton? Uh-oh. Scallions. <gasps> Scallions! Look at him. He looks angry. And he looks like he's missing half of his face. I guess that makes sense. He's a skellion. <laughs> I'm, I apologize for it being very dark, but it is dark out right now. And I think I think this game, probably bad things happen at night. Where is Odd? Where is Odd? Okay, Odd's over here. Odd, I need you. 
Um, what are you sad at? Will you, will you, autom ooh, courage, look at this. So what does that mean? Oh, he's wounded too. Odd, what are you doing out here then? Odd, no, no, and our storage is full. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's maybe not as important, but okay, let's just see how this works, how this pans out. What is Odd going to do? Is Odd going to run? Run! Okay, well, if you're going to run, Odd, he does have a bow. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I haven't had a chance to really go through the comments from last time. I did see a couple saying, you know, uh, you're going to be in trouble if you don't build walls and stuff quickly. So that part I'm doing as soon as possible. Okay, let's get you all the way back. So does that mean that skeleton's going to come in uh, immediately? Like, he's going to come in and try to attack immediately. Try. He's going to attack. Like, he's not going to He's not gonna try. There is no try. Only do. <laughs> um, oh, uh, Gnarly, you are just... You're building tools like a madman. We need to build We need to build food storage. So no time like the present with that. I mean, this is stone, right? So we could just build on the stone floor. I mean, why dig it out? It's already stone. Ah, just, it's going to bother me. Um, I guess, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're going to, what we're going to do. Ah, we need to build, we need to build some, some food storage. So we're going to do that. Uh... It's my preference, you know what, 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 actually, what would make more sense is we're going to do construction. Can we do a wooden floor, uh, or even, even like the paved stone, paved stone, or the cobblestone gray, or something, because basically a granary is just a place where you raise your food above the ground and you protect it somewhat from the elements, right? So, um, let's see, what if we did, it doesn't have to be super fancy, it just has to work. Hmm. I wonder, uh, yeah... Yeah, okay, right here. This is fine. And we're gonna do it, yeah, we're gonna have it raised, so that makes sense. The problem is, there's that iron there, so I don't wanna cover that iron, because I do. I will wanna get that eventually. This seems like a pretty good place for the granary, and what we could do is we could put the, do the first first floor and do some food storage there, and then later on we can, we can build upwards, right? So that's not a big deal, right? Perfect, I think that'll work just fine. Okay, guys. Um, the builder is busy, busy, busy. Uh, where is... Hold on, let's go you and let's jump to Odd. So you're going going back out there, Odd. Actually, you know what? Uh, just just a second, Odd. What What is your... Are you shooting? Oh, no, you hunted a boar. Oh, good for you. Good for you, sir. Excellent. So that must be improving his archery skill, maybe? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I just... I wish it was a way to see his archery skills. Um... From, from, you know, from, you know, without going into our, being an archer. I suppose we could have looked there once, once we changed it, but that's okay. Um, he is going to, uh, let's see, rest when injured. He should rest when he's, his health is below 80%. I see. But there, our guys have no place to rest. I know in this game there used to be a way for people to sleep, and I don't see anybody sleeping anymore. Maybe they took sleeping from the game. I guess that's possible. Our, our guys are not building very quickly. Oh, uh, pickaxe. Okay, so we, we need to change our... Gnarly T needs to change from carpenter to stonemason. There we go. And he can go build some, some tools for everybody because uh, still, okay, you still you guys still haven't reached the level. Okay, you guys need level eight to be able to mine that iron ore. Until then, as a matter of fact, this iron ore is actually floating in space. Remember I said that it would do that? Yeah, it's going to do that. Um, we could clear out this uh, ground here too as well. I want to, yeah, oh, okay, we already did. I, I would like to bring it. I would like to bring all of this ground down, you know, down to this level. That makes more sense. And I'm worried that they're going to dig out this before they dig out this for the reasons I've explained before. But it doesn't matter because they can access it from the other side. So that should be OK. I don't know if any of this is making sense to anybody. Uh, it is very slow. Like these guys do work very, very slowly. Whoops. Game pause. I did not mean to pause it. I meant to double speed. There we go. That's what we want. I don't know what this is. Does this mean keep going until some some event happens? <laughs> ah, that's terrifying. What a terrifying prospect. So keep going until somebody dies, essentially, <laughs> or somebody gets attacked. Um, yeah. So our diggers. I'm gonna let them finish up with this the mine up north here. But eventually, uh, I mean, very soon, I want them to just sort of focus on digging out the ground here at home because there's so much to do. We can finish building the. Oh, we can't even. Oh, what is this? Is that gold? Gold? Level 10? Ah. Well, ah. <laughs> it's going to be under the floor. I'm going to know it's there, and it's going to bug me for eternity. It's going to bug me. And someday, we're going to dig up that floor and go, I know there's gold. There's gold in this floor. And we're going to dig it up, and we're going to be rich. But for now, I need you guys to actually just continue putting 
floors and construction floors the cobblestone brown one of the things i don't like about the cobblestone brown is it's got these big rocks in there and that looks a little too rustic for what i was looking for i wanted uh you know rustic but not too rustic i don't know if that makes sense of course it makes sense you guys are smart you understand <laughs> i have issues i like to make things look really nice so yeah i think at once upon a time people used to sleep in this game and i don't know why they took it out maybe it was uh t maybe it made it too difficult i don't know because now it doesn't like people doesn't look like people need to sleep at all and our sheep our animals are not breeding i think we're actually getting food from the chickens but we're not getting any wool yet because we don't have shears and we can't put shears or have shears until we get a blacksmith ah we could probably build that now actually yeah let's let's start with our blacksmith stuff so let's do that so let's go cons uh objects workshops and we're going to build ah uh, we have no twine but we should be able to build twine hold on hold on hold on hold on hold the hold the phone hold the phone so let's go to process materials i think we can build twine we can build twine a twi a, a twailer <laughs> <laughs> a twailer and an animal fur which we have because our our uh our forager has been has been dealing with that so we just need to change somebody to a tailor for a moment and we did have somebody that was good at tailoring if i remember correctly so tailoring uh yes pie blueberry the farmer actually is is a tailor so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set twine we're gonna maintain i guess i don't know six of those in storage we'll just let our We'll just switch him over to Taylor and let him build those because all he needs is animal fur. So he's going to do that right now. There he goes. <laughs> Fantastic. And then we can actually put down our blacksmith stuff, which is very important um, for weapons too, as well, as well as many other things, including tools, especially tools. Well, I suppose you could say a sword is a tool, depending on how you use it. A ninja would say a sword is a tool anyway. I don't know. I don't, I don't see any ninjas here. <laughs> uh, so we have two, two twines. So he's... Perfect. Oh, he's up to four twine. And we're and we're looking for six. So as soon as he's done there, I will switch him back. Pie Blueberry will go back to the farmer person he is. It's very, very helpful. Very nice. Okay, Pie Blueberry, you are going back to farming. You could manage everything from the screen almost, except for the building stuff. <laughs> Perfect. Now we should have enough stuff to build a... Hold on. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, objects? Then it's under workshops, and then the stone anvil, and then there's a stone forge. I think we have to build both. So the stone anvil, we will put that... Oh, I want to put the anvil in here. We can put... No, I want to put this forge in here. The forge would look great in, in this little outcropping, don't you think? And then we can put the anvil right here. That makes sense. Uh, or does it? Yes, no, that makes sense. We can put the walls here. There's still enough room for the walls. That will be fine. That will be perfectly fine. And I was wondering, maybe we should actually just put walls on the hall. Walls and a door on the hall. That way we have a place to retreat to. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold the phone. What is this? Who are you, stranger? Speak. Speak or be destroyed. I think it's a traitor. A merchant has arrived in your settlement. Please have a traitor meet him in your hall if you wish to barter. <gasps> what do we need? I, I don't know. I don't know enough about this game to know what we might need. We do have some coin. Um, What would we like to buy? A wheel? Okay, do we have a wheel? I, no, I don't know. What What do we buy? Like, I don't even know. So if we click buy, he should offer us things. So let's do that. Let's let's see. Uh, oh, shears. Uh, we need some shears. Um, I I could make them. I could make them. <laughs> but I I I don't know. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, stone stone tongs? No, 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 no. We can we can build up that. I don't want to buy anything. I can build. That's the thing. I can build the shears. What about some arrows? Uh, because. Uh, it might take some time before we're... Yeah, because we don't have any feathers or anything. How much would you charge us for some arrows, sir? Can I buy some arrows off of you? So this, as I understand, this is all you have to do. Um, and then, oh, you have to have somebody set up as a trader. And I believe their their skill as a trader determines your prices, I think. I don't know. So let's go you. Let's see. Who would make a good trader? I don't want I don't want him to go away. So let's see here. Uh, we do have a... Tr we have somebody who had some trader skill... Ah, yes, Jack Marius, the trader, that's right. <laughs> Jack Marius is currently mining, but his true profession, his true calling is bartering. So let's see, Jack Marius. Here he comes. Here he comes. Jack Marius. So he's bartering. He's like, hey, man, do you have any arrows? And he's like, oh, maybe he doesn't have any arrows. Maybe we're too late. We're too late. Okay, well... Jack Marius, hey, but I'm I'm really pleased that somebody showed up. I mean, that's that's good news, right? Um, 
there is no reason why uh, we need storage. I think that's probably it. Wood. Yeah, we need wood storage. Okay, so let's expand our timber here. So upgraded storage. Yes, that's very very important. Food. Uh, finally, we've eaten down the stores. <laughs> We were too full. Tools. Um, we need to put some tools in every one of these buildings. Oh, there is our our stone anvil has been built. Perfect. So let us put a uh, a little place for tools in here. So objects, uh, storage, tools. We're gonna put some a tool chest. Oh, cool. So we need uh, we need carpentry and some oh some cut timber. That's not gonna work. Okay. So perfect. We'll start with our timber mill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, objects, workshops, timbering bench. Process of turning raw wood into timber requires an ax. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that in here. That's why we made this building so large. So I think we'll do it like so. And what I'm thinking is we might even move our, our timber pile or have a timber pile in here. That would make sense. And then we need to have a carpenter for that. And we, of course, we do have a carpenter, but he is switching between jobs. <laughs> I don't know if we crafted by the carpenter. Okay, so we do need to actually make him a carpenter in order to finish building that. So that would be gnarly tea. I need you to switch back. You can be a carpenter for a while. He's a, he's a jack of many trades. I love that. Ah, they're finally clearing some land. Fantastic. Uh, there is... Oh, I thought they actually missed something. Or I missed something, but nope, nope, nope. It's all good. Excellent. So we do know that our roads are working. So that is fantastic. And actually, I do remember somebody had made a comment. And I apologize. I, I'm not in tune with the comments right now. I've been so, I've been so busy. But somebody did make a comment that yeah, even one one you only need one block uh, for a road for it to be for it to work. But sometimes it doesn't always work. Like sometimes there would be a tree in the way or something, and it doesn't end up working. So you're better off, you know, just making sure by doing at least two or three across. So we did it by four. We're pretty safe. We know that it's working. We've had somebody visit already, which is fantastic. Um, I do need to keep an eye on my miners because as soon as my miners reach level eight, I want to get this, this stupid, this ore. We're gonna have to build scaffolding up here to get this iron out now. <laughs> this is not. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Um, we could start putting walls on the. The hall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hall, and we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna change the size of it. Oops. There we go. We're gonna change the size because you can't build on the purple, but we need also need to make a place for the door. And I believe that you can. I believe that you can do. Oops. Oh shoot. Maybe that will not work. How does that work then? Uh. Okay. Hold on. We're. Yeah, just leave it like that for, for the time being. We want to build some walls there. So, And I believe that you can have the, the, the hall go through the door. I, I mean, obviously, you have to be able to, right? So construction, we're going to build some walls. And I want this to be... Ooh, there's castle brick. But we, we need a stone... A stone... A uh, different type of workshop for that. Then there is full timber. There's field stone. Oh, that looks very nice. It's it's a little darker, but I mean, it, that'll, that'll serve the purpose. A wolf has been spotted by Odd, of course. Just give me a second there, Odd. So, yeah, if you use the cursor keys and go up, you can build the walls up, like so. And I think uh, we could have multi... Like, this could be multi-floor. Like, it could, we could have multiple floors on here. And every character is about two squares high. So if we did it by five, that should give them enough room to have headspace. So we go like that, and then we go up like that. Perfect. And then we go like that. Now, this is the alternative to building uh, walls around the town right away. This is, I, oh, should we, hold on, did I, did I place that incorrectly? I, or should we, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Is this part of the floor over here? Did we just mess that up? Hold on, I think we did. So what, what I'm going to do is we have to figure out how to delete this now. I think it's the same way. So we go like that, and we go, Alt shift. Ah, yes. And then upwards, like so. Oh, perfect. Except I... Ah, like so. That wasn't so bad. I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I'm going to do it this way anyway. Because I think we put... I it looks like we put floors right against this edge here, but I don't know. Okay, so let's put this up. Two, three, four, five. Is that right? Wow, you can make thick walls, man. It would take forever to build. Okay, that's good. And then... This is a very square building. This is my first building. <laughs> uh, my first building is going to be square because um, I often build, I get a little overambitious and I end up building things that are just way out of control. 
As you guys know, anybody that watches my channel knows I tend to go a little crazy with my builds. So I'm trying to keep it under control there, guys. Okay, so let's... I, I don't know. I think the doors are too wide. Let's just see here. Let's go like that. And let's just go to the doors. Did we pause it? Yes, we did. Okay, that's probably not a bad thing. Um, and then we're going to go construction. Nope. Uh, it's under objects. Doors. We want a door that we can build. So there is the fence gate. No, no, no. Dungeon door. No, no, no. Our arch gate. No, no, no. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to build a door. Um, but at least, at least if we build these walls... Then, I mean, that's a start, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. We're going to go design. We're going to go hall. And we're going to put our hall back. Uh, merchant arrived in your settlement. Please uh, trade or meet him in your hall. So there's... An, oh, is that the last one? That's probably the last guy. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, that works. Um, it's it's a, going to be a very tall building. But this is our main hall, right? Can we have windows? Or should we have windows? Or do we just... To put windows in, we just leave gaps. Is that how that works? Um, probably. Um, maybe we should do that. I think we should put, because it seems a little, you know, can you imagine this? Like, it'd be a little intense not having uh, any any windows at all. I'm not even sure how you would do that. Uh, let's just see here. So, I, somebody was saying there's a way. There is a way. Sorry, I apologize, guys, but I, I am still learning this game. Somebody was saying there is a way to raise up so that you're looking at different levels of the terrain. Let's see, camera forward. Uh... Oh, razor lower depth. The page up, page down. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, resume game. Let's try that. Page up. Page down. That does nothing. Okay. Well, I'll, you know what? I might try and figure that out on my own. In the meantime, this is quite... Well, maybe we dig out... I know we can dig out uh, the, the, the holes later and make... Call that... Call those windows. So there we go. Everybody's up and running again. <laughs> um, the sooner we get that that building built, the better, I think. Just because at least we'll have a place to kind of, you know, do the whole 300 thing and get them cornered. You know, like the, the Spartan warriors, get them cornered down a, you know, thing and then fight them off like the wolves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. If, that's if you watch movies. <laughs> and you're old enough to watch that kind of movie. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is, it, does, do, does anybody age restrict, restrict things anymore? Really? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so there... Oh, we should... Uh, odd. Ah, hold on. Were you fighting the wolf? Did you die? Were you shooting it? Oh, you've got your bow out. I'm just curious, actually. Odd. Do you, have you been using your, your bow? I don't even know. I'm not even sure how this works. Somebody... I know somebody was talking about the bow. But I'm not sure... Uh, it looks like maybe he, he did use the bow? Maybe? Maybe. I don't remember how many arrows I gave him. Either way, he's got it equipped. I mean, that's a good thing. Yep. That's a very good thing. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to town. I, it's slow going. Oh, there we go. We've got our, our thing up here. So we can actually, we can build. I, I believe it's the, uh, let's go here. So let's go and we want to turn raw wood. Uh-oh, something else. Is that another one or did we pause it? I'm not sure. Um, so we can turn uh, regular wood into timber. Uh, our carpenter can. So we're going to maintain... I don't know. Let's get... Or should we just... Or should we just build a bunch? Let's maintain... Let's maintain... 50? I don't know. I have no idea. What? What? What's a right... What's the right number? And actually, what we could do is we could put the... That we could put a storage area just for timber. Because remember? Remember there was that storage area just for timber? Yes. We're going to put it in here. So storage... And we're going to go wood... Yes, uh, the timber pile. That can go in here. That makes more sense. We're going to put that right on the side there. We are going to be putting walls in here. But there we go. Yeah, we are actually cutting some wood. So now we could build uh, doors. We can build uh, wooden walls if we want to. You know, all those things, right? So he's grabbing the raw wood. Ah, oh, that makes sense. We'll probably put the door, like, right here once we... Oh. <gasps> no! What? He got killed by the wolf. Well, that's a... That's a darn shame. <laughs> I apologize to, to Odd. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, the, the Forager's probably the first to go, usually. Hopefully we get some new people. Uh, I don't even know. Should we go out? Should we hunt the wolf? That's, that's what, that's what normal townsfolk would do. They would get their pitchforks and they would destroy the, oh man. Wow, that, that, that was so sudden. Like, he didn't, I wonder if he fought back. Is the wolf even damaged? Oh, charge the enemy. Oh, he's gone. Or maybe you can't see him through the fog of war. What a shame. 
What a terrible shame. All right, well, let's see if we can, get, let's get uh, the bow and stuff off of this guy. Let's gather all of the resources and then dispose of the corpse. Hopefully they do that in the right order. I'm assuming that the game is smart enough that it's gonna do it in the right over order, but we need another forager to do that, do we not? So let's get back to town. Oh, this, this is not good. We've already lost somebody. We lost our first person. Oh, the poor guy. Oh, the poor guy, I feel so bad. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I mean, should I, should I have kept him close to town? Was there a reason why I wouldn't do all that stuff? Hold on, what is this? What is this? Did I, did I randomly build stuff? Probably, construction, walls, I don't know what this is, but we need to, we need to get a gun. Okay, so let's get rid of that. There we go, done, okay. <laughs> Building random stuff in random places. So that's, that's a real shame. Oh, we, I wish we could have a little funeral or something. Poor Odd. I'm sure we're probably all gonna die here because that's sort of, oh look, we're building our walls. Look at that, oh, beautiful. Oh, that's actually, it's very, it's, it's got the green running through it. It's a very woodsy type thing. That's so cool. That is so cool. I'm sure we could have arranged to not, I'm sure we could have made it so that we weren't building, um, weren't building a, like we could have built, put, put walls in here as we were putting it together. I'm, or, Windows, sorry. We could have put windows in here while we were putting this together. I am positive that we probably could have arranged that, but that's okay. Maybe we should put a back door in here too. No, that's fine. Well, one door is fine for now. Um, one, the problem is the door is usually a weak point. At least, typically, a door is normally a weak point. So we have a place to store our timber now. Fantastic, cool. Um, can we build a door now? Um, I, I really want to go grab that stuff off of Odd. Who, who would be a good candidate for that? Unfortunately, Actually, John Ray. I'm just thinking, John Ray. Let's let's just take a look. John Ray, where are you? John Ray, you are currently mining. Do you have a weapon on you? I'm sure if you don't, we can arrange that. John Ray, let's go here. You have a club on you. You, sir, I'd like you to be a forager for now. John Ray, let's go here. It's probably easier to do it this way. Get a lot of stuff opened here and it's hard to sort of figure out what's going on. All right, so John Ray, you're going to be a forager. I would like you to go, let's just make sure we've got everything set properly. You, sir, all I want you to do is loot the dead and dispose of the dead. That's all I want you to do. Now we may start to have a food problem, but I don't think the I don't think so. I think our farmer has probably got that covered. I mean, if we're gonna lose anybody, the forager was probably I mean, as sad as it is, I mean, he's probably the most disposable of everybody right now. Um, although, that was a nice, healthy food source. But yeah, we, we, we are making food from the farms. We're getting food from uh, lots of different things. So let's let's just collect everything. Oh, that's so sad. So sad. He's face down. <laughs> I wonder, will he bury them? I don't know. Let's just see what happens here. Dun -da -da -da. Come on. I, I could be running this in faster speeds, but I don't know. I'm enjoying the process. I don't like playing in super fast speeds when I don't know the game that well because unexpected things happen. It's unexpected things happen at regular speed. Um, so, so he's collecting all the stuff. I wonder, let's just take a look at his inventory. So he's grabbing the food he had, but he didn't get, he didn't get the bow and arrow and stuff. Really? We lost the bow and arrow? Oh, that's not cool. So he got the food, he got some scrap metal. Really? He got scrap metal. He got scrap metal, but didn't get the bow. So it, the game doesn't the game doesn't digest what a character actually has on him. It just randomizes what kind of loot they have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, in need of a pickaxe. Okay. So we need to make our <laughs> gnarly tea needs to go back. We really need to get somebody just dedicated to either stonemason or uh, carpentry, right? Uh, so, uh, Gnarly T, you need to go back and be a stonemason again. There we go. Uh, this is the greatest screen ever, this one here. This is fantastic. Okay, it's gonna take forever to get these walls built and stuff. We are gonna have to build scaffolding and stuff. So what do we need to build scaffolding? So, construction. So, full utility, scaffolding. We're gonna need actual timber for that. So, to build scaffolding, I believe, uh, you only need to have uh, scaffolding as high, you just need to have scaffolding high enough so that they can get on top of the building. So you just need to go, I think we can start building it now, I think. I don't know if it's practical or not, but let's do it anyway. Uh, you know, I like to learn by, by experience, and I think you only need so much scaffolding, like you don't need a huge amount of it, just enough to cover, to get them, it's like a ladder, right? You Basically you're building a ladder for them so they can get up. And then once they're up on top of the, the stone or whatever, then you're good. That's probably way too much. 
I mean, I don't know. And I think the builder's got to build that. Or maybe the carpenter builds it. I'm not even sure. I wonder if it even says. It might even say here. Uh, let's see. Uh, where was it? I don't even remember. <laughs> it was construction, utility, scaffolding. No, it doesn't It doesn't say who builds it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming I'm assuming the, the builder builds it. It's getting dark again. Let's throw some wood on the fire. And then I'm going to check the time. It's so cozy and warm. Ah, we could even put the fire inside of the building. Now, it is a stone building. Oh, there it goes. Ah, the builder's building it. Oh, cool. Cool. Is that ever neat? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. Actually, before I speed it up, I'm just going to check the time. Be right back. As I suspected, we are indeed running out of time, but that's okay because um, I'm enjoying this experience. We are taking our time. We could be running at a faster speed, but then we'd be missing so much. Like I said, even at even running at regular speed, I mean, Odd was still slain. <laughs> running at super speed, we would have just he would have been he would have died faster, and we would have I don't know. I'm I'm enjoying the whole process of building. It's the first time I've really watched them build. It's really quite cool. I'm really liking this. This this. The whole building design thing, I can't wait to put up some walls. And I, I'm sure we could have a lot of fun because it is block by block. I mean, theoretically, we could build layer by layer and we can, I mean, of course we could put windows in. Of course we could. We just have to figure out how to do it all and figure it out, figure out exactly how it all works. But I mean, there's really no question as to what they build. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just as long as we build it layer by layer, right? We could build anything. We could build the pyramids. We could build the Sphinx if we truly wanted. We just have to be careful in how we're doing it. Yeah, so very cool. And of course, make use of things like the scaffolding. And they probably can't, you know, they, they, they ha you have to keep in, keep in mind their headspace when they're building. So build, always building upwards, uh, just like with Stonehearth. You don't want to start from the top down. With where you could, you, theoretically, it seems like you could sometimes, but you shouldn't because they don't have the headspace to be able to do that. So he is digging out... Okay, perfect. Yeah, he's doing exactly what I need him to do. Guys, we're probably going to wrap this up, but I, I really enjoy this game. I really like it. Look at this. Look at the scaffolding. Is that ever cool? That is so cool. So I, I believe that they can just climb up any part of the scaffolding anytime they want. Uh, that is that is crazy cool. So how much... I, we, need to put, uh, we need to put some lumber and stuff on here. We need to put our timber, uh, track the timber. Yes, we have eight timber. We are... I, I can't believe we lost that bow. That's really disappointing, but I mean, live and learn. I mean, I guess I guess it's important to know this stuff, right? Um, strong timber. Oh, there's something else that we eventually need to get. And then we should probably keep track. We've got our stone. We've got our wood. Are we out of stone? We're out of stone? How can we be out of stone? Hold on, hold. The, hold the phone. Hold the phone. We can't be out of stone. Hold on, raw raw materials. Raw stone, we're out of raw stone. Okay, um, really? Is it just from building this little tiny wall? Oh my lord, it's gonna take us forever to build this. Like, all the stone we've been digging this whole time is enough to build two layers of the wall. That's madness. That's total madness. That's why our builder is focused on that. Okay, so guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Next time, we're going to be tearing down the mountains. All of the mountains are going to go because we need all the stone we can get. As a matter of fact, we're going to maybe step up our game and start big building our moat right away because, I mean, yeah, actually, the moat's, moat's as good as a wall. Yeah, why wouldn't we do that? Um, that way, we also get all the stone from that moat, too, as well. And we, maybe we'll build a mine shaft out of it. That'll be kind of fun. Don't you think? That'll be super fun. But yeah, all of that stone is gone. I, 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 really? All of that stone is gone. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Next time, we are going... We're going to turn our miners into stone digging machines. <laughs> okay. I hope you're enjoying the series. I love this game. It's really fun. There's a few bugs here and there, but it's super fun. Oh, he is rotting. Look, our goblin's rotting. <laughs> okay, take care.